All right, so I'm super excited today. Joining me for some incredible drive-through food, we have Mr. John Acuff. Every Welcome time I buddy. see a camera, I wave to it. So, John, uh, just talking about different fears. You got any fears that are kind of lighthearted fears? Oh or yeah, afraid? spiders. I don't love spiders. They enjoy biting you. They bite you while you're asleep. Yep. That's a sport bite. <laughs> That's for the love of the game. You're not even bothering them, and they bite right. you in your sleep. So, yeah. like Jenny the other day said, "Oh hey, look, a wolf spider," and I was like, "That's not the tone you should use. <laughs> right, like right. the tone you should use is like, oh no, a wolf spider, and it's got two names of dangerous things. Yes, wolf spider, both." In this particular season of your life, um, you got a lot going on. Yeah. Probably made the biggest career move of your life. What is keeping you up at night these days? I asked Jenny that question, you know, what are we supposed to do? Like, why did God give us some influence? And she said, I don't know, but I know it's not to build your kingdom. And she's right. And so one of the things that keeps me up at night is where am I supposed to lean into something and really give it all I have? And where is that line where I start to try to make it mine? Yeah. And instead of going, I could, sometimes I'll take the 15 things I need to do and stack them all up into kindling and light a bonfire of fear versus going, today this is the thing I can do. God's bigger than it all. And so I'm gonna do this thing today and I'm not going to stack up my fear. Does that ever create fear in you? Like I'm gonna do a meetup and what if nobody shows up? Like I always tell people, like if you want less awkwardness in your life, don't chase a dream. And if, you, if you're gonna fight through fears, if you're gonna pursue dreams, God's place on your heart, you have to get comfortable with being yeah. uncomfortable. And I don't know any other way to do that other than just, it's like anything else, it's just practice. Yeah. It's just being uncomfortable again and it's again and again. It's not fun either. Like, no. Uh, if his ability to fulfill what he wants done in my life is based on my ability to make the right decision, we're all screwed. Because mm. what a small God he is. Yeah. Like if, yeah. if, if your God, yeah. the God of Pete, the God of Brandy, the God of people watching this is is handcuffed to John Acuff's decision making abilities, oh, we're in trouble. Yeah, big time. You know, so I, I try to remember that even because I'm going to make the wrong decision. Yeah. Like I'm going to get wise counsel, I'm going to pray, I'm going to do all these things and still mm. make the wrong decision. And, and thank goodness we have a God who loves redemption. So I think that helps me in moments of fear go, I feel like I've done what I can do. I still don't feel, if, I still don't know if this is the right decision, but I'm going to make one. And then I've got a God who's going to continue to be with me, even if it was, you know, I was four degrees off of the right decision. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. I appreciate it. No You're awesome. Are you praying? Do we pray at Sonic? I feel yeah. Like as a pastor, I'm, I probably should. I'm not sure <laughs> God can do much with, with, with this. <laughs> Dear God, thanks so much for this day. Thank you so much for this food. Thank you for John and all the millions of ways that uh, you're using him to uh, impact people uh, for your kingdom. For it's in your name we pray, amen. How did you work through that process of, of learning to trust God when you didn't have clear? I think I still am. Um, there's so many times where I ask God, I want the next 10 steps, and I think yeah. he knows that if he gave me those steps, when things are hard, I'd worship the steps. Yeah, I'd go good. back to the steps and I'd ignore the relationship. So I, that's what I wrestle with. John. It's been awesome. great, yeah. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate just the wisdom that you share with so many people around the world these days. And well, thanks. God's using you in some really powerful and cool ways. Well, I have a good pastor, so it helps. Well, thanks for sharing your time with us. Thanks, Pete.